What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the ER Forum. So in today's video, I have another special guest for you. This here is Sean. Uh, he is a colleague of mine in the ER. We work together. Sean is a nurse practitioner student, so I thought I'd bring him on the channel. Seeing a lot of you want to go to NP school and um, see if we can answer some questions for you guys and um, educate some of you that are going to nurse practitioner school. So we'll go ahead and dive right into it. Have Sean introduce himself. How's it going? I'm Sean Pertle. All right. So me and Sean actually went to the same college. We graduated together. Well, he graduated like four months before I did. So um let's go ahead and dive right into some of the questions so first question how did you know you wanted to become a nurse practitioner what made you want to go to NP school I was a nurse and I realized that I wanted to take give orders instead of taking orders <laughs> <laughs> so, so nurses nurses are doers in, yeah. in the field of healthcare. so we do a lot of the things that are ordered so a lot of the nurse practitioners PAs and physicians order different things and we do those tasks that they ordered for the most part so Sean wanted to be someone who puts in those orders right yeah, absolutely yeah. okay all right um, so did you ever think about going to medical school? Absolutely. Um, reason why I didn't is um, at the time, this is actually my second career change, well, third career change basically. Right. So at the time that I uh, obtained my nursing degree and license, I, I was at the age where I didn't have like eight more years of school left to go. So I wanted to get in a comfortable uh, position for my family and I, so nurse practitioner school was the best option for me but i did think about going uh, for medical school so definitely thought about medical school but the nurse practitioner route accompanied yeah, your, your family like a lot easier better. for me okay. i chose um to be able to actually be with my family and also enjoy um a great life so it, it uh, right. actually allows both good i think a lot of a lot of people that are planning on mp school feel the same way too so that's good um so what did you do actually before you were a nurse oh man you have a funny story <laughs> So yeah, really funny story. I actually was a music producer. Um, I was I took part in the uh, Teach Me How to Ducky, and right. we toured for about like five years. It was awesome. And once that actually starts slowing down, I decided to go into IT because I already had a music production and um, engineering um, background. So once I did IT, I was just looking at zeros and ones and um, software exchanges and things of that nature, and it was boring. I, I actually hated my life. I'll go home and think about other things. Nursing actually turned out to be what I wanted to do. All right. So, so a lot of you guys thinking that you're a little behind because it's not the first career path. Sean's done a bunch of things oh, yeah. before he was actually in nursing school. So good to know. All right. Um, do you need any sort of experience before applying to NP school? So a lot of people believe that you do need experience. Some people say you don't. You, you are in NP school right now. You're a nurse yeah. practitioner student. So what's your answer regarding that? I believe, I mean, having a background or a solid background of nursing is great. Um, but if you think about it, PAs actually go into it with just a biology degree. And they, of course, they have more of an extensive um, practicum, which is a, like a clinical. But the reason why they have that extensive clinical is because they've never been in the hospital setting. So right. if you've ever were a nurse, uh, I think that just having that hospital setting and the clinical background um, is enough because you're actually transferring your mindset from being a doer to a provider. So you're using more of your brain than activities or skill set. So I believe, like with me, since I've actually taken these classes, I've changed my whole um, ideology of how I approach my patients right, because right. now I know why they're ordering certain things. Mm -hmm. You know, I know yeah. um, why they're ordering a, a headache cocktail for a hypertension, you mm -hmm. know, because that person has headache, right? Or why they're ordering certain scans exactly. for certain things. Okay. So it's more of a, a lot of in, in nursing, we think of it's already exact. We know the stomach hurts, let's treat the stomach hurt. but you have to actually formulate a differential diagnosis so you have to actually prove what it's not first before you actually can attack what it is okay and then so if you're able, are you able to go from straight from nursing school getting your bsn and go straight into np school or do you need to work for a little bit to apply well so it depends on the the, the um the program the program so, all programs are different okay. yeah because uh toro allowed you to as long as you're working while um attending nurse practitioner school they allow you to go in and you're accumulating that work experience exactly. as you're in school okay um, unlv they want you to do a year of nursing first and then go in i was actually able to go into unlv because i did psych um, nursing for a year before i went into the er right but um 
I just, uh, Toro had more of a, a medical background for me because they're the ones that's putting out all the medical students in uh, Nevada, well, in Las Vegas. Right, to deal, yep. And then they have the PA, so I figured they'll have more of a medical um, foundation for me than UNLV. Okay, all right, so some schools, guys, it depends on what school you're applying to. Some will require that experience before applying, some require it while you're actually attending the school, so. Absolutely. So next question, are all NP programs online? And is no, online? no, um, UNLV is actually not online. In person? It's in person. Okay. Um, a lot of, um, there's, I forgot the other one, it's one in Texas that's in person. Okay. There's one in the Bay Area that's in person, but majority of the ones that's in were in our area, our metropolitan area, Las Vegas, Nevada, it's online. Online, okay. And so yours, yours, the school you're currently attending is online. Yeah. So our our didactics are online, and then from there we actually have um, like the skills course, like when we do um, uh, let's say chest compressions or cracking chest, things like that. Right, sutures or um, maybe or anything like that. Sutures and things, those are okay. all um, in person. So the first year is all didactic online and then the um, portions like the practicums and then they have uh, seminars, so they're all. Okay, so, so similar similar to PA school, only your didactic is online, whereas in PA school, their didactic is in the classroom. Absolutely. But the, the subsequent year, you're gonna be actually in in-person Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. All right. Um, did you ever think about applying to PA school instead of NP school? <laughs> no. Reason why, right. nothing against PAs. I love PAs. Um, reason being is because I'm already a nurse. Okay. So why not actually further my field? One. Right. Two, um, you have more autonomy as a nurse practitioner. Right, right, right. PA. Uh, and I think and, that's what they want to hear. Yeah, a lot of, and, and PAs are awesome. And the thing is, is that with the PA, you always have to have a doctor behind you. And then a nurse practitioner, some states do require you to have a doctor, but in some states you don't. You can actually open up and, and hang your own veil and right. do your own thing. But I believe that having a doctor behind you within your first at least uh, 10,000 hours, because you know, once, once you reach 10,000 hours, they consider you a professional. Right, experience. So, experience. Experience, so, right, experience. First 10,000 hours, just so, you know, you reach um, that, you know, experience level, uh, then from there, you can actually hang your own shingle. But me, I'm going to have a doctor under me, I mean, um, uh, above me for a minute, so I can get the feel of everything and then move forward. So unless you actually do open up your own practice, the roles are the exact same? Correct. Okay. okay. Me, even when I open up in my own practice, I'm gonna have a doctor. Still gonna have the doctor? Yeah, as a consultant. Why not? Why Why not utilize the 12 years of, and more of experience? And I know? agree. So, I mean, when you say that you have a doctor over you, is that person like just sitting there over your shoulder the whole oh, time? No. <laughs> or they, they like phone call? Well, or, you know, depends on the doctor, you know? Yeah, <laughs> there yeah. is some anal ones it out does. there, but it does. It does. Um, okay. for the most part, it's just basically they look over the charts and they look over um, what orders you actually um, place for the differential diagnosis and if they feel that they would choose a different test, they'll, they'll recommend they'll suggest it. That. Okay. So it's, it's almost like if a family doctor was doing a consult with urology. You know, it's, it's almost the same. But Okay. Uh, here's a great question. What is the difference between acute care nurse rec programs and family nurse rec? Uh, practitioner program. oh I mean it's real simple um the reason why um, there is the difference is uh, family nurse practitioners can actually deal with pediatrics and acute care only deals with adults so uh, acute care nurse practitioner programs are more in your ICU or your IMCS intensivists or um, okay and the family nurse can go either. so you mostly mostly you'll see family nurse practitioners in the ER because they can treat the wide variety yeah because okay. they can treat um, children even though some people bring their children to an ER that we don't have peds but right that's what they do we don't have <laughs> we don't have pediatrics uh, our pediatric department at our hospital so we end up having to send these patients out or transfer them to different facilities so okay um, I think that's a big 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 question a lot of people had was what was the difference and actually what are, are, are nurse practitioners allowed to have that lateral mobility that PAs do? Can you go to like nephrology, urology, come back to the emergency medicine, do primary care, or do they have to go back to school to get some sort of recertification? Like, say, if I'm a family nurse practitioner, okay. can I go into the ICU and then come back to the ER and then go back to like surgery and then, or do I need to get? Some well, it's sort depend of it plan? actually depends. Um, that's a great question. Um, it depends on the hiring person because if they feel let's say if you're a nurse coming from the ICU right and uh, you get your uh, NPN family nurse practitioner if the hiring person feels you are competent enough to and okay. then they take you on as a training then yes but okay. uh, as far as like 
acute care going to family, they will have to actually go and get a, a FMP because they have to deal with pediatrics. Pediatrics. Okay, so it just really depends on what program you went yeah, to. Yeah, depends okay. on that and it depends on the, um, the so, hiring. So it yeah. seems like family nurse practitioner has a little bit more leeway in what they can do. In Absolutely. Terms of Only thing, that the difference is um, with psychiatric care, you have to go back for that. You have to get your um, your, M, your uh, MP in psychiatric care for that. Okay, um, that's a pretty, okay, that's reasonable. All right. Um, Let's see. To what my is, knowledge, I could be wrong. <laughs> Google it. Google, yeah. Google is your best friend. Uh, what is the difference between an NP and a PA in the ER specifically? No difference. We're, we're both um, mid-level practitioners, and especially in ER, you automatically have a physician over you. So it's... So that yeah. so, so you already, so both have ER docs over them, both right. see the same patients, though, both prescribe medications. Absolutely. Okay, because a lot of people aren't under the impression or under the impression that PAs can't prescribe medications. No, they so. I mean they have to go with just well in ER you have a physician over you regardless. So right. at the end of the charting they have to both in nurse, uh, nurse practitioners and PAs have to go to their uh, overseeing doctor to see if it's okay for them to finish with or to, to close out or, or how we say the discharge but right. the house up. Right, 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 um, right, right. But as far as um as far as prescribing, they can prescribe everything else. They have their DA license, things of that nature. They're all all the doing, same. right? Yeah. yeah. All the same. I think Ben spoke about that in the previous video I did. He was one of the PAs I interviewed. So, okay. okay. Sounds good. Um, let's Only see. difference is, I think, the holistic care. And I think that nurse practitioners come up with a more of a holistic ideology. Yeah. So, what's the difference between the schooling? That's a great question. Uh, so, this whole medical model, nursing model. It's a model. It, it depends. <laughs> it's. Um, <laughs> all right. Let me. All right, so it depends on if you take the model on as a a lifestyle, you know, because right. I mean, we have nurses that actually went to the um, the caring school of nursing caring that come out and don't care. So <laughs> it's it it's very true. So, so it's completely yeah. it's completely dependent on the person, but yeah. the education is. It's more care based, more holistic, more holistic. Uh, try to go with non pharmacological uh, interventions before you do pharmacological. Right, worrying about like ethnic backgrounds and how yeah, that correlates into their care and stuff like that. You don't have time for that. <laughs> so you, <laughs> you end up practicing with your patients. So you end up, hey, what's wrong with you? Okay, let's you go end up practicing medicine. <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, so all right, all right, all right, all right. Uh, so for someone who's already a nurse and they're debating on whether or not they want to go to medical school, PA school, NP school, what's your advice for them in terms of how they would decide which route they want to go to? Well, I mean, it depends. What should they think about? Yeah, what should it, they think about? It, you should go with your passion. Honestly, right. anything that you do in life, if you feel like you're waking up to go to work, then you need to actually really reevaluate that option. Because if you're doing something in life, it shouldn't feel like work. If you're making money or things like that, even though it's, it's easier said than done, but if you're in nursing and you hate where you're at, try, and you don't want to go back to school, try a different discipline. You right. Know, try, if you're in ER nursing, you're like, I hate seeing a lot of these, um, Drunk patients. Yeah, and drunk patients drug or patients, the yeah. people that's drug seeking. Try PACU. You know, I mean, from there, if you don't like PACU. PACU is a really good place. You know, I feel like PACU is right in the middle. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's they, pretty chill. You have one patient place. at a time, you know, make sure they're alive. And yeah, and it's a critical care. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely. PACU is a good spot. So, I mean, try okay. different disciplines. And then, I mean, there's always pick nurses. If you're a person that likes to do IVs and you want to go deeper into IVs, be a pick nurse. And that doesn't yeah. really take, I mean, it's, of course, anything you do is going to take training but if you're not wanting to go back to school you just try the different disciplines and if not um, try to be a, a charge nurse or something you know try there's more. so many different things you guys yeah. can do with nursing and that's the thing with with getting that BSN degree is that you can go to MP school you can go to PA school you can go to medical school dental school it doesn't matter absolutely so you can, we actually have a pharmacist that is a was a nurse Gigi. oh yeah absolutely yeah, 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 yeah. Gigi yeah, yeah. Gigi <laughs> <laughs> yeah so she's awesome awesome guys and if you haven't noticed uh, Sean's wearing one of the ER forum shirts oh, yeah. um, those will be out have to soon. represent you know <laughs> <laughs> alright guys well thanks for watching this video uh, we will see you next time on the ER forum alright thank you for having me alright man for sure thanks